Uh, first of all, I'm very excited about the 2015 season. I'm excited about our team. We have uh, some really good things to build on from 2014 uh, going into 2015. Uh, the one thing that I that I feel uh, based on uh, looking at last year and, and having a lot of time to think about this going into this year, I think we were a good team. Uh, we, but, but we have very high goals. Our goals are to win uh, Missouri Valley Football Conference Championship and also uh, to win the uh, National Championship. And uh, so with that in mind, I feel like we had a good year last year. Our players feel like we had a good year, but we, we have higher goals than that. And we uh, have high expectations. And we want to go from being good to being great. And that's, that's kind of our goal this year. That's how we're going about our, uh, our practices. Uh, we had a great off season. I think we had a really good winter conditioning program, really good spring practice. Uh, best summer uh, that I've ever been around in, in my coaching career. Uh, very, uh, a, a lot of hard work in the summer. Our, our players that were here in the summer are in great shape. And, uh, and as a result of that, they're practicing very well. Um, I think just a little bit about our team. Uh, we have nine starters. Uh, returning on defense, which I think uh, I've heard anything from between nine and ten uh, that di reported different ways, but I'm going to go with the official nine. Uh, and I think that also depends on what personnel group you're into. So, uh, but we do have uh, nine starters returning on on defense. Uh, I believe that is the strength of our team, uh, and uh, you know that that's going to be our identity uh, as as a foot as a total football team. Offensively, uh, we have six starters returning. Uh, I feel uh, you know very good about our offense. I think we're uh, I think we're going to be much stronger in the offensive line uh, than we've been. We have more depth in the offensive line than we've had, uh, and I feel very good about that. I'm going to go a little bit more into detail as we go along. Um, in regard to special teams, as far as specialists, the good thing is our long snapper returns, and he's. Uh, Josh Apple is, uh, I think he's the best in the Missouri Valley uh, Football Conference and, and has a chance to be uh, one of the best in the country in FCS football. Uh, we Our punter is returning, which is positive, Osborne Hume. Uh, and uh, we expect him to take another step. Our field goal kicker, Eric Heidorn, is returning, and, and that's very positive. Uh, who he, he made some very important kicks for us last year. And he has a lot of experience going into this year. Uh, as far as uh, you know, looking at our, our team on defense, some individual people that I want to highlight. Uh, first of all, Connor Underwood is, returns as uh, outside linebacker slash uh, defensive end, and uh, he's a first team All Conference uh, uh, selection preseason, and also an All American, which I think is uh, uh, exciting for uh, for. Indiana State and for uh, you know just the, our conference and our city of Terre Haute. Um, Mark Sewell I think is the best safety in the league. Uh, Travis Starks I think is the best corner in the league. And uh, even though Kendall Walker wasn't named to a preseason team, I think he's the best linebacker. And so those are guys that I think are, are special. Uh, then. Uh, other guys on defense, I could talk a lot about a bunch of guys, but another guy I want to talk about is Jameer Thurman, who is, uh, uh, you know, all those guys I've mentioned so far are all seniors. Uh, Jameer Thurman is a, is a youngster, uh, junior. And then Conlon Cassidy is, is back, and, I, you know, it's exciting to be able to talk about a defensive lineman that's a returning player and that, that's a good player and uh, kind of the strength of, of our interior on defense. On offense, kind of the, you know, I've already talked about the offensive line. Uh, just mentioning some guys there, uh, Dakota Vermillion, our left tackle, and uh, James Officer, who was our center, I think are both uh, excellent players. And there's going to be more. There's a lot of competition there. Uh, you know, it's good when we don't. We have several candidates to be starters in the offensive line, and we don't know who they are yet. And that's a good thing, because that means we have some depth. Uh, the court, you know, the story I think is the quarterback position. Uh, the uh, 
you know, we, we have two guys that are competing for the job. Obviously, Mike Parrish was a senior last year, had a great year, and uh, we're sorry to see him go. Uh, but uh, we're excited about the guys that we have. Uh, first of all, re returning uh, from last year, Matt Adam, uh, who was the backup quarterback last year, uh, started and played the entire uh, Illinois State game, did a very good job. Uh, <clears throat> he is one of the competitors for the job. And then uh, Zach Klein, who is a transfer from University of California by way of Butte uh, College in, in Northern California. And uh, we're excited about him and both of them. And I think they, they both bring a lot to the table. And that uh, is going to be decided over a period of time as far as who uh, will be the, the starter. Uh, that's going to, you know, we've got, you know, today is... Uh, we're, we're at uh, August 13th, and we've got, uh, I think, about th three, a little, almost three and a half weeks until our first game. So we've got some time uh, to make that decision. Um, uh, Lamont Booker uh, is our is our uh, running back. Uh, he's worked very hard, had a really good off season, a really good summer. Uh, excited about him. Our receiving core, uh, feel very good about them. Uh, Gary Owens, who was our uh, big play receiver last year. Uh, we have high expectations for him. Uh, Robert Tanyan, who was a converted, converted quarterback a year ago, and now I think he sees himself and our team sees him as a, as a receiver. And he has uh, had a very good, you know, kind of came into his own at the end of last season and has had a really good uh, spring, summer, and, and training camp. And, and uh, I expect big things out of him. Another guy is Samson Levingston, who is, who is a, a guy that's been a productive performer for us and a very consistent player. Um, probably, if I was to say, there's always the question that comes up about a new player that will have impact. Um, I can't speak uh, about offense and defense, but I do. I can say that uh, we, uh, we believe uh, very strongly in special teams. Uh, that's one of our, in our plan to win, that's a huge, uh, very high on the list. Uh, and uh, we uh, went out and recruited a long distance kickoff guy. Uh, and, and that is an important thing, uh, just in general, for us to be better uh, at, at, at the drive start of the offenses as far as being able to kick balls into the end zone, uh, hopefully out of the end zone. Uh, his name is Andrew Riceford. Uh, and uh, that was that was that he's a he's an addition that I think people will notice right away, and I uh, I look forward to seeing him uh, kick off more. Um, and so uh, that's you know just some overview of our team. Uh, probably not ready to talk about any other newcomer uh, type people other than him because uh, I think all you know we have. A really good recruiting class, a really good group of transfers that came in, but we, but it's kind of, you know, we're we're still in the process of evaluating them, and it's hard for me to, to to stand up and talk too much about them after only I think we've only had ten practices, so uh, schedule, love our schedule, excited about our schedule. Uh, we open up September fifth at home, which is. Uh, a great thing. I think it's been a while since we've had a home opener. I know for sure since I've been here, this is the first time we open at home against Butler uh, University, who we have a tremendous amount of respect for. Uh, and uh, But we're excited to, to be playing at home on our opener. Our uh, next game after that, we get to stay in, in the state of Indiana, and we uh, play Purdue at Purdue in West Lafayette. My understanding is that's going to be uh, ESPN News national television game, uh, which I think is a real uh, plus. I think it's going to be a noon start, Eastern time. Uh, then uh, after that, we go to, uh, we, we come back home again. We're still in, we're back home again in Indiana. I didn't mean to say that, but it came out. We're back home again in Indiana uh, uh, week three, uh, and we play Southeast Missouri State. And, and, and then we have a bye before we go into uh, the conference schedule, which as we all know is, is the best uh, FCS conference in the country, and uh, and it's going to be a uh, a great challenge. So that's that's a uh, little bit about the 2015 uh, team, and uh, it's a different team than we've had before. 
Uh, one of the things I think is important to know is that every team is a different team, and this is a new year, and, and uh, we're excited about that. So Yeah, I think uh, we look at that as a challenge. You know, one of the reasons, I, I really believe this, one of the reasons guys come here is because of this league. You know, I, I mean, it, this is the best league in, in, in FCS football, we all know that. And, I mean, I'm, I'm sure the Big Sky would have some kind of an argument on their part, but I, I don't think it's, there's any question. Uh, as far as the number of teams ranked, the, the quality of, of the teams in the league and the competition level. So we're, you know, we accept that challenge and, and we're excited about it. And, you know, we know we've got our work, we have, we, you know, we have a lot of respect for the teams in our conference. And the interesting thing, you know, there's, I think, te uh, six teams that are ranked, is that correct? Uh, but you look at our league and every team, is good. There's nobody. I mean, you know, we had to run a circle of death uh, against Missouri State to beat them. You know, uh, we we had a devastating loss to Western Illinois last year. And those two teams aren't ranked, but those are really good football teams. And so, uh, you know, we we understand. I mean, it's you know, we know it's a great conference, and it is a good news bad news scenario. The good news it's a great conference is. Uh, you know, and it's a great competition, but the bad news is it's a great conference. So, do you prefer having that bye week right before you go to the conference with that? I think the way it's worked out, uh, I think it's perfect. You know, to have three non-conference games, two of which are at home, three in the state of Indiana, then a bye, and then we go into the conference. We open up at Missouri State, which I think it's easier to open away at when you have a bye. Dancing moves aside, <clears throat> what's maybe something you've learned about your team in camp so far? Obviously still the early stages, what's maybe something you've learned about this team so far in 2015? Well, I, I don't know, uh, we, we had, I don't, if you're referring to our dance-off. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I said dan had, dancing aside. We yeah. had a, we had a, a you know, yeah, one, of, one of the things that, that I'm going to try to do as we go along is uh, do something different, something creative, something fun. Um, you know, to, to take away the monotony of, of practice and of camp. And so yesterday we had a, we had a dance off. And uh, we had two winners. Uh, uh, and I got to give respect to the senior first, Jamar Brown. We had a tie at the end. Jamar Brown, uh, our tight end. Um, and I should have mentioned him earlier instead of just talking about his dancing ability. He's a really good tight end. I think he's the best tight end in the league. Uh, and then. Um, uh, Beach, there we go. Uh, Kevin Beecham was, was the other uh, uh, winner of the dance contest. But anyway, uh, uh, yes, we have, we, have, we have found out a lot about our team, more, more than just uh, their dance moves. Uh, you know, th this has been a, one of the things that you're doing as a coach always, especially as a head coach, and some of the, one, of the, one of the things that I try to do with our assistants is to get them, because they, you know, they get immersed in it, Sometimes you have to step back. So you have to be coaching and developing and preparing for the first game. But then you're also, you also need to evaluate. You need to take a step back and evaluate uh, what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are, uh, what we have a chance to be really good at, what we need to improve on, all those things. And, and so we're in the process of evaluating all that. And that's, that's why I think every team is different, and I think you've got to, You've got to constantly be evaluating where you're at, and we're doing that. We're finding out a lot of things about our team. We're, we've found out, learned a lot. You know, I've been coaching a long time. Uh, when I say how long, it makes me sound like I'm like really old, which I am. But anyway, uh, 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 the thing I have learned, though, uh, is that I always keep learning, and, and I'm always trying to come up with new things, be creative. We're trying to be on the cutting edge in, in every phase of what we do, and, and we try to improve on things. There's things that are successful and that are, uh, that are things that we know work, uh, and we're going to keep doing those things. But there's also things that we want to evaluate and, and, and change and improve on, and, and that's something we're in a constant process of doing. I'll be honest with you, I think it's too early to even answer that. I think they're both really good. I think, uh, I think, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm excited about that position. I think when you have 
when you have two really good ones, that's a really good thing. Um, and so I, you know, I, I think I think both of them do a lot of things really well, and uh, and I think that uh, uh, it's hard for me to pin that down right now. To be honest, I'm in the process of of, of evaluating that and watching that. <clears throat> Is there some added pressure, obviously, for you maybe this year, year three? Everyone's obviously the, the program is still buzzing and still building after last year's success. You guys, quarterback aside, have a lot of depth this year. Knock on wood, year three. Some coaches look at year three as always a year to take a good step. You guys took a great step last year. Obviously, it's it's hard to do to win a playoff game and, and you know get to seven wins. Is there added pressure to you, coach? Maybe year three with with this team you have coming back. Uh, first of all, we had eight wins, by the yeah, way. Yeah. Yes. Sir. Anyway, uh, I think um, I don't. You know what? If I feel any pressure, I feel it. I put it on myself. Uh, I I have I have high expectations for our team. I I uh, I believe in our team. I think that I think that we have really good players. I think we have really good guys. I enjoy going to practice every day, uh, working with our guys. Uh, and you know, I I don't see it as pressure. I see it as as something that I'm really excited about, you know, going in, I think, I think we've, in a lot of ways, we've laid a foundation uh, upon which we feel like we can build upon. And uh, the great thing about this year is we have a lot of seniors, and we have a lot of people back on defense. And those two things make me, you know, those two things make me sleep well at night. You know, and, and I think, you know, it's funny as a co as a head coach, I learned this a long time ago. Uh, you sleep well at night if you have if if you have a good defense, if you have a good long snapper, if you have a good punter, if you have a good field goal kicker. I'm gonna keep going, and if and you have good quarterbacks, and and so I, I feel like we those those are things that we have. Now uh, you know obviously there's a lot a lot more pieces to the puzzle. I'm just talking about things that make you feel nervous. Uh, so I, I I'm very uh, excited going into this year. Well, I, I think one of the things that, that we do here is we're going to focus on on the next game. You know, the next game for us is Butler, and that is what our focus is. Uh, we have a lot of respect for Purdue, um, and, uh, and, and it, you know, it, it's a great opportunity for us to play a Big Ten school, to play in-state an hour and 45 minutes away. Uh, and to play on, on national TV, on ESPN News, that's a great opportunity. Uh, but to me, the focus is Bummer.